Tonight, we'll show you a close call involving an Omaha Fire Department rig responding to an emergency. Nobody was hurt. Responders were quick to react. Our Mike McKnight obtained the video and gets reaction from training supervisors who can use it to prepare first responders for the unexpected. Rush hour on a weekday afternoon with all three lanes of 680 clogged ahead. So responding to an emergency, an Omaha fire rig driver takes the shoulder. But a car driver who appears to be moving out of the way unknowingly pulls in the path of the fire truck. The driver of that fire apparatus, I'm, I'm sure was thinking that car was either continue straight or maybe pulled to the left to get out of the way. But instead they pulled to the right, right in front of that, that fire apparatus, which, you know, I, I'm not faulting anybody for that. Battalion Chief that, Warner uh, says taking the shoulder is not taught in training, but is an acceptable maneuver if there's no other way around traffic and the driver believes he can do it safely. This would be something that we use as a teaching moment, especially with our new drivers or, or firefighters that are looking to drive. We might show them this video and say, hey, these are the things you have to be ready for. Right above my mirror. The video comes from a windshield camera belonging to Patrick Jones, who slowed for the fire truck and witnessed the close call. I use a lot of profanity because I thought it was going to roll. I thought I literally thought it was going to roll because the way the back of the truck went off the road and then he would have to recover from that. The video added to other training methods for Omaha firefighters. You're going to a, an emergency response. Like a new simulator purchased by Public Works. A program replaces snow plows with fire rigs and rescue squads. So now, and I've got to make it through this turn here well, time's without hitting the signs or the cones, right? Correct. The scenarios include squeezing a fire truck through parked cars as driver side doors open and making a turn with a 50,000 pound fire rig or even heavier ladder truck. Either bystanders walking into your uh, lane of traffic or other vehicles, just roadway obstacles that trains them to overcome and avoid. All first year Omaha firefighters get hands on the wheel training since anyone might have to move an apparatus in the middle of an emergency. To learn the limits of their vehicle length, steering radius, and just understanding, you know, where your vehicle is. The trainers say Omaha Fire has 111 fire apparatus engineers or drivers who may get to see the crash saving evasive maneuver used by one of their own. Thanks to the video from Patrick Jones, who says, ironically, he's a former volunteer firefighter. Close call that had a good ending, that no one was hurt, especially those firefighters in the truck. And again, another educational piece. Hey, just be a little bit more aware when they're responding. On your side in Northwest Omaha, Mike McKnight, 6 News. And Mike gave us an exclusive first look at Omaha Public Works' new simulator, which should be ready for fire department use by the end of the year. And it can be used as part of the testing for rescue squad and fire truck drivers or just to provide plenty of practice.